Uh, good old movie fans and um, followers of the channel. Like today, I'll be doing part 26 of my Blu-ray collection. Kind of left off on a cliffhanger, but I uh, do it for you guys. Um, but it's gonna be less talk than normal since I do want to show as many as possible during um, these parts. I just completed them. It's been a great pleasure making them and I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I had a good time making them. So yeah, um, for the ones I've seen before, I'm just going to talk a tiny bit about them. Not a lot in depth, but here you go. Uh, so this is a fine Pixar movie. Uh, I talked about it during my um, Pixar collection. If you want to go in depth. Uh, it's the second worst, but it's all right. It's fun. But it's not the best movie ever made. It's okay. It's fine. For what it was. It's a fine sequel. It's not as good as the original, but I enjoy it for what it was. It's a um, fun, dumb sequel. Um, I get it. Um, they probably made this to sell toys. Because there's a lot of car figures. But, um, I thought it was all right. Um, it could have been worse, though, but it's a fine movie. It's all right. Um, it's fun, but it's not as good as the original, of course. This is another all-white Pixar movie. It's not the best, not the worst. Just fine. Um, one of the weakest Pixar movies, if I'm being honest. But it's all-white. It's fun, but it's not that great. Still. But it's better than Cars 2 and some of the lower ones. Um... Oh, um, some of the, some of the, um, lower ones, like the Lanking, um, it's not a bad movie, but, uh, it's fine, though. Uh, it's all right, um, I mean, I guess I'm gonna talk a little bit, but, Oh, wow. It's all a light movie. Um, this is a very good movie. Uh, it's a good Marvel film. It's a fun movie. It's a good movie with flaws in there, but I enjoyed it for what it was. It's a fun movie. Fun blockbuster. Um, fun phase one film. Um, so, really recommend checking this one out. It's a good movie, but I had some issues with it. It's fun, though. Uh, this is a fun monster for It's a fun monsterverse film. I enjoyed it, but I do have issues with it. Um, no. 
but it's a decent, fun movie. It's a good movie, fun. So I enjoy this, but uh, it's the weakest among the MonsterVerse films, but it's not bad. Uh, this was a good sequel to the original film. Um, fun movie. Kind of smells like strawberries. I do own the first one. I believe I showed in one part, but if I haven't, it's gonna be in a future part. So, and very nice inside of work. Um, but a very fun sequel. It's enjoyable. Um, now I'm gonna put it back. Um, very good movie. Um, pretty good drama, uh, drama film about these characters and their daily life. Um, it's pretty interesting. Um, I would say it's kind of like a comedy too, um, but it's more like a drama. Um, now it shows the hardship of this job, uh, but a uh, good drama film. I uh, really enjoy this film. It's a pretty funny one too. It's a drama comedy. Um, it's actually a good movie. Um, um, One of my favorite Star Wars films. Um, I started a um, started a trilogy. I found good, but it's not perfect. It's not a perfect trilogy, but it's a decent, fun trilogy. I mean, it doesn't really make sense, but this was a great movie, um, regardless. Uh, bringing back the old characters with new characters and a new villain. Um, so, very good. Um, very good start, though. Um, this is a Target exclusive. So, it's kind of nice. But the packaging is iffy though. Um, but good movie, regardless. Main movie, regardless. Started checking out this season, and it's very funny. The show, um, I haven't seen the show yet, but it's a 
funny show um, so far. Which is like two episodes. Um, so I'm looking forward to checking out more of this show. It's very funny. Um, kind of like one of the hip cartoon shows out there. Very funny, very out there. So far what I've seen from it. I definitely enjoy this one a lot. Looking forward to continue watching this show. I don't know if I talked about this one yet, or showed it, but if I haven't, um, here it is. Um, I think I have them. Um, this is a very good movie, and uh, Quantico is a very good movie too. Um, it's a pretty good survival um, thriller of me and Neeson giving a pretty good performance. And as usual, 
And he's really good. Um, um, so very good. I mean, these uh, forward. Um, I do recommend it. It's not like one of his, not one of Liam Neeson's generic action fillers. Uh, it's kind of had smart wits to it and dramatic moments. Um, some of his action fillers are really good. Others are generic. But um, other than that, I think most of his drama stuff is like really good. Um, I think it shows you this. Uh, this is a good movie, good animated flick, a uh, fun. I've seen some episodes here and there. The show is funny. I'm not a big fan of it, but it's funny humor. It's enjoyable enough. It's a funny sitcom. You just put it on. Well, we just passed the time with, in my opinion, though. Um, um, it's very easy to follow. Show. It's like friends are the office. Um, but good show. Um, um, I've seen some episodes here and there. It's funny, but it's not my favorite. This is an amazing movie. Um, I love this film. Um, pretty good drama for um, with a great performance by Matthew McConaughey. Um, probably. And one of Matthew McConaughey's best films. Um, it's a great actor. But, um, and this is a very good movie. It's, it's not as good as The Original, but again, it's a good sequel. And this movie kind of started the Oscar era. For Matthew McConaughey, um, where he started making good movies, not just rom coms, which um, you may consider a good movies, but 
They're just cheesy flakes some of the time though. My opinion though. Um, you don't have to agree with me, but I like some rom coms, but again, it's probably my least favorite genre. I don't really get into them much, um, but some of them are really good. Um, uh, this is a very good Disney movie. Very good heart in there. Emotions, but also comedy. Um, very funny too. It's like a coming of age movie. Um, I don't think I showed you this one now. Caesar Chavez biopic. Um, this might be good. I like a uh, Michael Michael Pena. Um, he's a good actor. Um, I'm looking at the cast though. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, I think Michael Pena could make a pretty good Caesar Chavez performance. Who knows? Um, I think it looks like a good movie. Um, maybe this biopic is not that good, but who knows? Uh, this is a classic movie. I love this movie. Um, Classic 1990s film. Um, Quentin Tarantino's second movie and my favorite uh, amazing movie. A very funny TV special. Very enjoyable. Fun Toy Story. Special though. Good movie. Good Pokemon movie. Came out in 2019. I saw this in theaters and very fun, enjoyable film. Um, Ryan Winnell's Lily steals the show in this movie as Pikachu. Very funny character. Um, I think most movies that Ryan Buenos is starring in, it's like one of the best character 
afters. Um, it makes it a lot more entertaining. Uh, this is a good, fun movie. Lion Windows uh, steals the show here. It's Pikachu. Very, very funny in there. Uh, this is a very good movie about Noah's Ark. Uh, very controversial. Um, but great performance by Russell Crowe and the rest of the cast, though. I would say this is an epic movie. Um, epic drama. But this is a great movie. Um, I'm going to talk about something. Films. I do want to check the show out, but I haven't had the chance to. It's like a good, fun, tennis show from the CW. This show, this Blu-ray is big because it's a combo pack of um, the Blu-ray and the DVD editions. So that's why it has nine discs in there. And they actually did this back then where um, they had combo packs for seasons. So, so four Blue Ways and five DVDs. But I do want to check this one out. It's like a pretty fun, good show. Um, this is a very funny comedy. It's a good comedy from back in the day. Uh, Steph Logan and Zach Efron did a great job in this movie. They're a funny duo. Um, you know, Rose Byrne is funny as usual. Uh, very funny. Um, I think all three of them are... Um, the best part about this movie, um, 
especially Zac Efron and Rose Byrne. And they have pretty good romantic chemistry with each other. Um, Zac Efron gives a good performance, so funny movie. It's a good movie. Uh, probably the weakest out of the franchise, but it's a decent movie. It's all right. Uh, maybe out of the whole saga, it's, it's the weakest, but I enjoyed it for what it was. Fun. But it's kind of messy, though, and Um, it's kind of disorganized, overwhelming at some points, but I found this movie to be pretty decent, though. It's a decent conclusion, but not the best, though. A uh, very good movie, very intense, dramatic forward. Now you care about these two brothers and their complex relationship, bond with each other, and Jeff Bridget, um, Bridges and Jeff Bridget. Jeff Bridges um, does a really good job in this movie. It's the Antagonist, kind of. Protagonist. But great movie. Chris Pine and Ben Foster are great together in this movie. And Jeff Bridges. Um, it's one of his best performances. Same scene with the other two actors. So I highly recommend checking it out. It's a great movie. Um... This is another great movie. Um, great stop motion animation film. Very imaginative, dramatic, but really tense and fun at times too. Um, Charlie's there on uh, Matthew McConaughey. Our Parkinson, Parkinson, and uh, Looney Mar, Mar, Looney Mar, Marla. Um, <coughs> Looney Mara, Mara, <coughs> Mara. Um, um, that's um, Kate's Kate Mara. Um, older sister, Looney Mara. Um, they do a good job in this movie. And about fines, too. So, um, Charlie's there on F. McConaughey and Art Parkinson, like the three main heroes. And then about fines and Looney Mara, like the villains of this movie. Um, but great movie, great acting, great stop motion film, and 
I like this one a lot. I did see this one in the feeders, so, and it didn't really do that well, but I highly recommend checking it out. It's a great stop motion film. Um, fantastic film. Um, I love both of these movies. Um, fantastic movies for both of these films. Highly recommend watching both of them. Uh, this is a good, fun movie. Uh, it's not a perfect movie, but it's a fun movie. It's a good movie. Um, dark comedy, drama, thriller. I enjoy this film a lot. Um, this is a fun, decent time of a movie. It's a good time. It's a dumb, fun action flick from the beginning. Excuse me for a second. I was going to say it was like a faux back to the 90s. There you go. It's kind of like very cheesy Jason Statham flick. Uh, it's actually a sequel to... Um, The Mechanic, um, which was another fun movie. Again, both of these movies are dumb, but I think I enjoy this one a little bit more. It's, it's fun, but um, I like this one a lot. It's a decent, fun Jason Statham action flick. Definitely a full back to like the 1990s flicks, action flicks. Um, I've been hearing that this one is a great movie that stars Jennifer Lawrence and John Hawkins. Um, it's a survival trauma character study, I think. But it looks like a good movie, great movie. Um, I heard it's a great movie. There you go. Um, I haven't seen it yet, but I'm pretty sure this is a great movie. Um, probably my weakest. No, excuse me on that too. Um, what I meant is probably the, it's probably the second weakest. Swag. Put some boost film. Uh, it's all right, but it's not as great as the other movies. Uh, but it's it's decent though. It's an all right movie. Fun. It's enjoyable, but it's not as good as the first two. It's not as good as the Puss and Boots films. Especially Puss, um, Puss and Boots, The Last Wish. But um, it's a decent movie. It's fun. It's better than the third movie, which I thought was alright. But that's definitely the weakest film. But it's the second weakest Shrek first movie. Puss and Boots. It's like movie, but it's decent though. Um, and this was a very good movie, very good war war drama. Um, um, pretty inspiring though. intense though but great movie good movie excuse me on that good inspiring intense drama thriller enjoy this movie it's a good movie it's not the best but um it's a good movie it's a good 
or drawn the film. And that's it for part 26. I believe my collection will upload more parts during um, during later on today and uh, tomorrow too and um, other days too later on during the next day and other days too today so I'll see you guys later. Bye.